There are things in this world that cannot be explained. Things only akin to the supernatural. I'm Grody Wales, star of A Bad Dream on Oak Street and Devil Monkeys 5 through 9. And I'm going to take you on a journey you cannot turn back from. Tonight, we have the story of Sasquatch hunters who barely escape live, but their indisputable evidence will change the cryptid game forever. Let us not delay one moment further. But first, don't believe in ghosts. The figure that just strayed from the corner of your vision must be a trick of the light. A whisper alone in a dark room must be your imagination. All right, Mr. Skeptic. Do your best to debunk these videos of apparitions cursed on the living for all eternity. Hey kids, did you know that I forgot the fact that we were supposed to be talking about <laughs> bugs? Sugar cookie blossoms, mmm, some keto almond joy donuts, a variety of cocoa boobs, and a wicked fudge nut brownie. Color right here, just with him. Ouais, le grand beauté. Écoutez, répétez. Mon dieu! Des sweet pamplemouches dans la plage. Quel horreur! Pas ma fée! Hello? Hello? Oh no! So we matter to it now. Orps. The woods can be a terrifying place where shadows dance, creatures lurk. And every snap of a twig could mean your demise. But for two brothers, Clem and Little Bra Beckley, they were no match for the Canadian wilderness. Some say the Sasquatch is merely a myth, a silly story. Well, tell me, what would you do if a seven foot tall, 500 pound man beast was staring you in the face? Neener, neener. Let's ask the Beckley brothers how silly their story really is. Big food has been an obsession of ours forever. We've been tracking it all across America. Most people go to the Pacific Northwest, but we decided to go straight up north to the wilderness of Canada. They've been calling this creature a hundred different names. Sasquatch, Skunk Ape, High Grass Man, Yeti, Yowie. But the French Canadians, because of their weird accent, calls it the Big Foods. No, 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 you right, you right. I'll never forget, we went out to the Hudson Bay around 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. There was nobody, I made nobody up there. But an old fishing village told us, anyone who walks in there never walks out again. And we ain't scared. No, no, because we have been previously and accurately identified as beings of lesser intelligence. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so not only did we make it out with our lives, but with unprecedented evidence. We started off with some tree knocking where you take a big old stick and smack on a tree and it echoes through the forest. Then the Bigfoot but did the same. So I did that for about an hour and I didn't get anything. Until I started thinking outside the box, took a big old stick, and I hit Clem with it. I screamed. And we got this. Clem, I got an idea. Oh! Wait, 
You hear that? Wait, you hear that? And if that don't scare the poop out of your colon, next day we found a whole trail of giant footprints. You can tell by the stride that it's like seven, eight, nine, ten feet tall. And it was definitely bipedal. That means they had two penises. Means what? Bi means two. Yeah, you're right. So we made a cast out of Play-Doh and sent the footprint off to the Zoological Association of America. Za! But get this. When we contacted them about a few weeks later, they had no record of us ever contacting them, and the cast was gone. So instead of catching ourselves a cryptid, we called ourselves another governmental cover-up. Bye-bye, Bigfoot. Seems there are truths that the powers that be don't want us to know. In a way, that's even more frightening than any monster, ghost, or alien. There is only one answer. It's because this shit be haunted. Thank <laughs> you.